Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the reciprocal method for the cost allocation process. In the prior session, we looked at the introduction to cost allocation and we looked at the direct method, we looked at the step method, and the third method is the reciprocal method, which we will work an example to illustrate this method in this session. Matter of fact, we will be using the same example that we used for the direct method and for the step method. This way you can compare and contrast the same example using all three methods to see how it works. It's the same amount of money that you're allocating. The way it's being allocated, it's different, whether it's direct, step method, or reciprocal. First thing we do, we review the reciprocal method real quick, then we'll dive into the example. The reciprocal method acknowledges interdependence between service departments. It means what? It means when we have two service departments or three or four, there is an interdependence. Both of these departments serve each other. And as a result, they, they would need to allocate cost amongst each other. So unlike the step method, it allocate cost back and forth. Notice back and forth between service department before we pass in those costs to P1 and P2. So there's a real interdependence relationship between the service departments themselves. In contrast to the direct method, where there's no relationship whatsoever, in the step method, the relationship was one way. One service department will service the other and not the other way. This is the most realistic. Think about an IT department and an HR department in a company. Of course, the IT department will service the HR because the HR uses the information technology of the company. Also, the HR department will, will hire the IT people, will determine their bonuses, will help determine their salaries, hiring, firing, training, so on and so forth. There is an interdependence, which is the most realistic method. Now, of course, it's a little bit more challenging in terms of computation than the other two methods, but that's what we need to do in order to understand the concept is to take a look at an example. We'll be using the same example. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Hello everyone. Are you struggling with your CMA exam preparation? Do you feel that your review course is moving too fast, too brief, or not covering topics in depth? Well, if that's the case, at Farhat Lectures, we can help you. We build your confidence through in-depth explanation, not memorization or reading the slides. What we will do is we provide baby steps approach to break down complex topic so you can truly learn, understand the material. How do we do so? We offer video lectures, we offer practice MCQs, we offer true-false questions, we offer exercises, we offer the notes. Understanding the material is the first step in passing the exam. Once you understand the material, you have gained the confidence to pass, and you can pass with Farhat Lectures. What can you do now? Start your free trial. You have a two-day free trial. Take a look at it. Give us a chance. Your risk is zero. You like it, you keep it. You don't like, you cancel. Give us a chance. We can help you pass the CMA exam. So we have Greenleaf Manufacturing, basically the same company that we work with the prior two methods, has two service departments, a maintenance one and an IT support, and two production, assembly and packaging. The distribution of each service department's expense to the production department is shown in the table. Same exact thing if you worked the other example. The direct operating costs of department, including both variable and fixed, and are as follow. The service department cost, the maintenance, the total cost 120, the IT support 130. Together, we have a service of 150. The production cost is for the assembly 70,000, for the packaging 150, together is 120. Now, what do we need to do? In this problem, we need to determine the, co the total cost allocated to the assembly and to the packaging, because we need to take this 150 and eventually allocate it to the production using the reciprocal method. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to allocate S1 and S2 costs to P1 and P2, consider considering mutual support between S1 and S2. So the first thing we are going to do, remember every time we would have ignored 
the interrelationship between the department you know how, how much does the maintenance service the IT or how much the IT service the maintenance we totally ignored it in the direct method and in the step method we we took it partially now we're going to take it into account so here's what's going to happen the service department provides support to each other s1 provide 60 percent of its support to s2 the majority of s1 is to service s2 and s2 in return provides 20 percent of its support to s1 well this relationship will form the, the basic computation will form the basis for setting for setting up the cost allocation equation and this is what we need to do here we need to set up cost allocation equation and basically it's going to come down to knowing basic linear equation because we're going to have two equation and we are going to work the example working with two with those two equations so copy these percentages down remember s1 provides 60 percent to s2 and S2 provide 20% to S1. So let's go ahead and calculate the equation. Remember, S1, so what is the S1? The maintenance. The maintenance equal to S1 is 120,000. That's the S1. Plus, they're going to get 20% of S2. So it's, I'm going to put it plus, I'm going to put 20% times S2. So S1 equal to 120,000 plus they're going to get 20% of S2. How about S2? S2 is $30,000 plus they're going to get a substantial support from S1. 60% times S1 resources. So this is the second equation for S2. IT support s2 equal to 30 percent plus 60 percent times s1 now what we need to do we have two linear equation and we need to solve for the equation for s1 and s2 what do we need to do substitute s2 equation into s1 how do we do that well s1 we're going to look at s1 and s1 equal to 120,000, which is this 120,000 plus 20% of S2. What is S2? Well, we see here that S2, I'm going to use a different color. This is S2. We're going to take this S2 and bring it down here. So 20% of S2, and this is S2. Now we're going to simplify, just do basic mathematics to simplify the equation to solve for S1. What's going to end up happening, 0.88 times S1 equal to 126 now we're going to solve for s1 s1 equal to we're, if we divide both sides by 0.88 i'm assuming you know how to solve this basically how do you solve this you will take 0.2 times 30,000 0.2 times 0 0.6 0 0.2 times s1 then you solve everything and we're going to end up with 0.88 times s1 equal to 126 then we'll divide both sides by 0 0.88 we'll, what we're going to come up with is 141 43181 for s1 i hope you know how to solve this now we're going to substitute s1 back into s2 well s2 now we know what s uh, we know this number we know this number equal to 143 s2 equal to 30000 30000 plus 60 percent times s2 and we'll find s2 and if we solve for this equation we find that s2 equal to 115,909 now the next thing we have to do is to allocate the cost now we know what s1 equal to what s2 equal to allocate s1 and s2 to the production cost for s1 15 percent to production cost one to p1 so 15 percent of s of s1 which is s1 is 143 180 82 as computed in the prior slide times 15 percent 21,477 then 25 percent goes to p2 143,182 times 25 percent so 35,795 goes to p2 for s2 would look at s2 s2 is 115 909 times 40 percent to p1 which is 46,364 and 115.909 times 40% to P2. This is how much S2 service P1 and P2, 40 and 40, which is 
the same amount 50 50 50 percent of 115.909 and 50 percent of 115.909 like basically split it this the same way now let's take a look at the summing up the allocated cost the total cost for maintenance as computed from the linear equation 143 182 of this amount 85,910 went to S1, 21,477 to assembly, 35,795 to packaging. The IT, 115,909, of which 23,181 went to S2, 46,364 to assembly, and 46,364 to packaging. Now we total them. 259,091, which is 259,091 minus... 85,901 85, to S1 minus 23,181 which left with 150 which is the support which is the support just basically showing you the computation showing you the computation S1 is 85,910 S2 23,182 now we have the production cost then we have to take let's take a look at this assembly the assembly is 67,981 assembly 21,477 plus 46,374 which is 67,841 and packaging will perform the same computation 35,795 plus 46,359 now we add the production cost 70,000 for the assembly 50,000 for the packaging now if we add them up, they will add up to 270,000. Remember, this 259091 is, is 150 after the enter company allocation. Notice I subtracted them here to show you what we end up is with 150. So 150 plus 120 equal to 270. So under this scenario, you would allocate 137, 840, 841 for the assembly, 132, 159 for the packaging. Remember what we did initially. Initially, that we had to allocate some of the maintenance to support, some of the support to the maintenance. Then we solve using algebra. Remember that, that first step. And then what we do is we'll take these amounts and we'll allocate these amounts to the production departments what should you do now you want to go to you want to go to farhatlectures.com look at additional mcqs resources that's going to help you whether you're studying for your cma exam cpa exam accounting finance courses or any other professional certification farhat lectures is always here to help invest in yourself